while back I released a tutorial showing how to make a circular talking head video in Keynote for iMovie. And while it worked, it took way too many steps. So in this updated video, I'll show you a simpler, faster workflow for getting that clean, circular picture-in-picture -picture look. Perfect for tutorials, interviews, commentary, or reaction videos. Let's jump in. All right, to start creating my circle frame talking head video, I'm gonna create a new project here in Keynote. So to do that, I'll go up to Keynote's top menu here and select File, New, and I get the theme chooser here, and I'll stick with the basic black theme. Hit Create, and we get our standard template slide here. So I'll just delete this template text here on this slide. And here's my blank slide. Now I'm gonna just zoom down a little bit by going up to the zoom control here and going to 50% so that I can see more of what I'm doing. All right, so to create my circle frame talking head video, I'm gonna go up to the top menu bar here, the toolbar here in Keynote and select media and select live video. Now live video is only available in Keynote version 11.2 or later. I think that came out in September 2021. So I'll select that. And there's my live video on my slide. So this is just like an element on the slide you could move around. All right, so this video feed is coming from my mirrorless camera, which is connected to my capture card, which is a CamLink 4K. And I can check that by going up to the top of the properties section here, and you can see style is selected. I'm gonna select live video. And these are my live video settings. So you can see here under source, default camera is CamLink 4K. That's what you're looking at right now. If I select this down arrow here, you can see I can actually add another source. So if I click this plus button, I can add a webcam. I can even add my iPhone if I wanted to. Now, if you want to use your iPhone for live video and keynote, make sure that your iPhone has continuity camera activated. Okay, I'm going to stick with my CamLink 4K for this demo. So I'm just going to zoom up or actually expand my live video element here so it fills the slide. So I'll just click and drag on these corner points until I'm filling the slide pretty much. There we go. Okay, so here's my video, but it's not a circle. <laughs> I want the circle frame. Well, it's really easy to do that with live video and Keynote. If we go back over to the properties panel here, you can see down below source, I have some other settings like mask. So right now, this video is in the standard sort of landscape uh, orientation, which is 16 by nine. But if I select this menu, you can see I have some other choices here and I'm gonna select circle. And there's my circle mask. Looks pretty good, but I wanna have actually a border around this circle frame just to make it pop a little bit more when I bring it into iMovie to edit. Real simple. So up here, back over in the properties panel, we have live video. Let's go back over to style and we'll go down to border. And right now there's no border. So I'll select this menu and select line. Now there's a border here, but it's black. So you can't see it. You can tell by this color chip right here, but this is a solid line. I'll make sure it's a solid line. Then I'll go here into the color chip, click this little down arrow, and you can see black is selected. I'm gonna go over and select white. And there's my white border. I'm just gonna make this a little thicker by changing the five points here, the point setting up to 10. There, looks pretty good. I'm just gonna make sure that I size this frame now so that it's not cut off. I want it to be inside the slide. I don't want the outsides to be cut off. And there's our circle frame. Now we have to do the video part. We have to record our talking head video. See, this is the difference between the method I show in the other video, my earlier video, where you're using pre-recorded video. In this method, we are actually recording our talking head video right inside of Keynote, which is very simple. So to do that, the first thing I need to do is set up my microphone because I want to capture my audio. So to do that, I'm going to go up to the top, way up here to the Apple icon. I'll select that and select system settings. And here are my system settings. And let's move it over here. I'm going to go down to sound and make sure the input button is selected. Now, this is where your microphone is going to show up. 
So right now you can see my microphone is the Cam Link 4K because my microphone is actually connected to my mirrorless DSLR, which is connected to the Cam Link 4K capture card. So that's what the audio reads as in terms of the microphone here. You can see the sound bouncing as I talk. Now, if you had a USB microphone connected directly to your Mac, you'd probably have a little slider down here where you can adjust the level. Now, just a little tip about levels here is very important. Make sure that when you're speaking into your microphone, you don't peak or go higher than the second to last dot here. If you go into the last dot, chances are your audio is going to be a little distorted. So try to stay third or second to last. So my level looks pretty good. So I'll close out of that. All right. So now I'm ready to record. So to do that, I actually have to go into Keynote's recording interface. And they get there by going up to the top menu here in Keynote and selecting Play, Record Slideshow. And here we are in the Keynote <laughs> recording interface. So right now, the current slide, which is the slide I'm on, you can see my live video feed here. This would be the next slide. I only have one slide, so we're not going to see another slide coming in. Some other controls, very important. If you go down to the bottom left here, you can see the meter this little audio meter bouncing up, that tells me that Keynote is reading my microphone. Remember when we set the microphone level in, in the system settings. So now we're getting the, the signal coming in, that's good. So now to record here, all I have to do is click on this little record button down here and I get this countdown. And now I'm recording inside of Keynote. I'm recording my live video with my audio from my microphone inside a keynote. It's very much like recording in QuickTime Player. So one thing though I should mention just as a tip, Keynote records the video, records your slideshow to a temporary spot on your internal hard drive. So I would recommend being prepared when you record your talking head video. Don't maybe sit around and ramble for an hour because you might use up a lot of space in your internal drive depending on you know how much space you have there you could run out of space. So Use a script, use notes, whatever you need to be organized. However, what you can do here to help you in terms of your delivery is you can actually pause this recording. So if I go down here, you can see beside the record button, there's a pause button. So if I select that, now my recording is paused. So I can take a moment, you know, clear my throat, <clears throat> take a sip of water, prepare myself, and then when I'm ready to go, I'll hit the pause button again, then pause a little bit, and then continue. And so now I've continued my recording. Excellent. Okay, so to stop recording, we just hit the record button again. And we're done. Now, this blue bar down here is actually your recording. So you can play it back by using these transport controls. So I'll just select the rewind button down here. And let's play back by hitting the play button. And now I'm recording inside of Keynote. I'm recording my live And there's my recording. With my audio from my microphone inside a keynote. It's All right, I'll pause that. Now you can actually continue your recording. If, for example, you wanted to add on to your recording, all you would have to do is grab this playhead and drag it all the way down to the end of the timeline here, and then hit the record button and continue. Now, just to let you know, if your playhead is anywhere before that, you'll start recording from that point on. So you'll record over everything that's after. All right, so now I have my recording. When you're done recording here in Keynote, I can go up and hit the X button here. And now I can play back my recording again from this editing interface by going up to Play. And I'll make sure In Window is selected so that when I play this back, it's not going to take over all of my screens. It'll play in the window, as you'll see in a second. Play Recorded Slideshow. Now I'm recording inside of Keynote. I'm recording my live video with my audio. And there's my recording. recording. I'll hit escape to get out of playback. Point. All right. And we're done. No, we're not done. <laughs> we have our circle frame video recorded, but we need to export this as a video out of Keynote so we can bring it into iMovie and edit with it. So how do we do that? Well, I'll show you in a second, but there's one step you need to follow. Very important step before you export this as a video. Very, very important. If you don't do this, the effect won't work. Okay, so right now on my slide, you can see my live video selected. I'm gonna click off of that so that it's not selected. Nothing on the slide is selected. Then I'll go over here to the 
properties panel again you can see this is slide properties and then go down to the background section and you can see right now current fill is a color fill which is black as you can see this black background i don't want that i want the background to be transparent so in order to do that i have to select from this menu and select no fill and then i get this white symbol with a red slash through it with which tells me that there's no fill and that this background is now transparent. Great. Okay, now we can export this as a video and bring it in to iMovie. So to do that, I go up to Keynote Top Menu and select File, Export to Movie. And up comes the Export Settings here. First one, Playback. You want Slideshow Recording because this is what we just recorded. That's what we want to export. In terms of resolution, right now it's custom, and this is 3840 by 2160, which is 4K resolution. That matches my camera, which is set to 4K. So you wanna match the resolution of your camera. If it's 1080p, you wanna go in and change this to 1920 by 1080. But mine's 4K, so I'll leave it there. Frame rate. Make sure your frame rate matches your camera. My camera is recording at 24 frames per second, so that's the frame rate, rate I wanna use. Format, now this is very important. Right now it's set to HEVC. Let's go into this menu. There are two formats in this menu that allow you to export your video with a transparent background. The first one is HEVC. The second is Apple ProRes 4444. What's the difference? Well, HEVC is a slightly more compressed format where Apple ProRes 4444 is slightly higher quality. However, the file sizes are huge. So you better have a lot of room on your hard drive. But for me, I'm using this in iMovie. So I know iMovie is compatible with HEVC. And I don't mind the slight quality loss. You really don't notice it. So I'm going to select HEVC. Color space SDR. I'm going to leave it at SDR, which is standard dynamic range. If you had a high dynamic range video, you would choose one of these. But mine is not high dynamic range. And this is very important. Make sure export with transparent backgrounds is selected because if that's not selected, again, we won't get our transparent background. So I'll make sure that's selected. All right, I'm going to go ahead and save and export this video out of Keynote and I'll see you over in iMovie. All right, so here we are in iMovie for the fun part of all of this. I have this clip on the timeline. It's just a background from the backgrounds browser here. And it's going to act as the background for my circle frame talking head video. Now, this could be anything, really. It could be a series of images or slides or a video you're commenting on. All right, I'm going to drag and drop my circle frame video from the finder over here. And I'm going to bring it in. I'm just going to put it in the clips bin here or the event. And if I just scrub over it, there I am. Now, to prove that this is actually transparent, I'm going to take my circle frame here and I'm drag it and put it in the overlay track over my background. And you can see, I'll play it. And now I'm recording inside of Keynote. I'm recording my live video with my audio from my microphone. There is a transparent background because you can see the background behind my circle frame. I'm just going to zoom out of here a little bit i'm just going to extend this background out to same duration of the clip and there it is thing though i should mention just as a tip now you could use this full screen like this it's kind of a nice effect but most likely you're going to want to shrink this down and put it somewhere in the corner on the screen so to do that real simple here in imovie i'm going to select the circle frame video over here and go up to the top toolbar above the viewer and you can see over here in the overlay settings, right now it's set to cutaway. I'm going to go into this menu and I'm going to select picture and picture. And now my circle frame talking head video is shrunk down, but I can resize it. I can reposition it so I can do sort of the standard in the corner talking head video like that. Let me play that back. And now I'm recording inside of Keynote. I'm recording my live video with my audio from my microphone. 
Now you can see it fades up when it when it comes on. That's sort of default behavior of the picture in picture, but we can change that with the overlay clip here still selected. I can go here. You can see this dissolve setting. It's sent to, uh, set to 0.5 seconds or half a second. I can just zero that out to get rid of that fade. So then it just pops on. And now I'm recording inside of Keynote. I'm recording my live video with my audio from my... You can trim that down so you don't get the empty circle. So maybe there, just starting up. And now I'm recording inside of Keynote. I'm recording my live video with my audio from my microphone inside of Keynote. Now you can even animate this circle frame talking head video. I'll just do a quick animation here. We'll start for a few seconds at this uh, size down here in the corner. And I'm going to go up here and you can see the keyframe settings here. So I'm going to set a keyframe at that spot. Then I'm going to play for a few seconds. It's very much like recording in QuickTime Player. So one thing though I should mention just as a tip, and then what I want to do is I'm going to take my talking head video here, bring it up to the center, and I'm going to zoom it up a bit. Just like that. I'm going to center it here in the frame. Now watch what happens. I'll play from the beginning. And now I'm recording inside of Keynote. I'm recording my live video with my audio from my microphone inside of Keynote. It's very much like recording in QuickTime Player. So one thing though I should mention just as a tip, and that's the new relatively faster way to create a circular talking head video in Keynote to use in iMovie. It's cleaner, it's easier, and it saves you a ton of time compared to the old method. If this helped you simplify your workflow, hit like and subscribe for more tutorials on Mac-based video creation, and I'll see you in the next one.